I'm going to talk to you about the Second Amendment without putting in any of my personal beliefs on it. Because if we are going to have a real debate on gun rights in the United States, people need to understand what the law is and what has been interpreted right now. The Second Amendment says, A well-regulated militia being necessary for the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. This has been interpreted so many different ways by so many different people. The Supreme Court has a current interpretation. It's important to know what that is because if you are on the side of gun regulation, you need to know what avenues you have to accomplish what you want. And if you're on the side against gun regulation, you need to know the avenues that, that there are to change for you to defend it. So without any political beliefs, this is what's going on. In 2008, D.C. v. Heller was a landmark Supreme Court decision that confirmed that the Second Amendment is an individual right to citizens. That's very important because that restricts the government and restricts what kind of gun control can be implemented. Now, there was a big fight. Um, it was a 5-4 decision. Uh, Scalia was on that decision. It was 5-4 and each side was passionate. It was a close one. Not even close to unanimous. It was split. It's as split as you can get with there still being a decision. Um, but that right, that individual right, was affirmed, which means that the court decided that a well-regulated militia, that part of the Second Amendment, does not mean that only the military or a militia gets to keep and bear arms. Uh, it, it, was, it was fought valiantly from each side, and the Supreme Court made their decision. So what are your options? Uh, if you want to change the Second Amendment, you either have to flip the script of the, uh, of the United States Supreme Court and get different justices on there, which there was an opportunity to do that uh, in this last election. Trump won, and he put on somebody that's likely to, to keep things the way they are. Um, or you have to amend the Constitution. Our founding fathers, they knew they weren't perfect. Uh, and they set out a process to amend. Now, to amend the Constitution, you have to do one of two things. You either have to have two-thirds of the legislatures of the states um, propose a, a constitutional amendment um, and, and propose that we amend the Constitution, or you have to have two-thirds of each House of Congress. And that's just to make the proposal. Then it has to be ratified, and it has to be ratified by three-fourths of the legislatures of the states three-fourths, 75% has to agree with that. And with a ratification of three-fourths, there can be a constitutional amendment. Really, the way things are, the only way to get what these organizations are calling for with gun control legislation, the only way to get them is to change the Constitution or change the way the Constitution is interpreted. Whether you want either side of this, that's where the debate needs to be because that's the only thing that matters here. The current law is all that matters.